All right, welcome back to another episode of Craftworks. Today we're going to be in a different area that maybe you haven't seen before. There's a buried ship behind me, there's a bunch of sand, and a whole bunch of savanna. That's right, we're over by our mega base, and today we're going to start with the origin. How we got to this area, why these people are so dirt poor, and we might even get some of the villagers in. So what I'm going to do is start by clearing out this boat we've got here behind us and some of the landscape and prepping what we're going to build today. So let me get busy and start working on that. And some time later, we've got that ship all unburied. It was in there deep. Got some of the landscaping done. And you'll notice I marked out some things. We're not going to quite get in that to just yet because I want to talk about how the people in this area got here. So the idea I have, I guess I should fly around, is that they were out in the ocean. There's so much ocean above us. And during the night, they came in with their boat and crashed it right into the sand. They didn't weren't able to see where they were going. And so they crashed here. And as you can see, it even broke the boat in half. That's the lore behind it. The weird thing is, I don't know if y'all have ever seen this before, but this boat is two colors because there must be some kind of a biome change. But anyways, that's the lore we're going to play with in this area, is that these people came, they crashed their boat, it made them seasick, and they came up on here. Now the seasickness is going to make more sense here in a little bit, but as you can see, I've added a whole bunch of trees. We've kind of leveled out. I did my traditional marking of where I want a path to go, so obviously we're going to need a bridge. And then a bunch of structures are going to go in next. But I want to at least show you kind of where our whole village area, which our mega base is going to be over there. But this is kind of the origin story. So this will play out a little bit more as we go. I want to show you what I've got. Okay, I built out half of this so you can at least see the idea. Obviously, we need to do the other side here. But we're going to build a whole bunch of tents. So when these people got off of the boat, they immediately needed something, somewhere to live, somewhere to start growing crops. So we're going to decorate this area out exactly with different tents. So we're going to do a few different ones. So we got one here. I've laid out one there, here, here, here. And then that's what all of those orange ones are. There were a lot of people on this boat, so they needed a lot better place to live. And so they took the cells, they took some of the wood, some of the wood from the area, and started building tents. So I'm going to get busy and at least build out this island so you can kind of see what the concept are, is. And then after that, we'll put the path in and kind of a central spot here. So let me get a few more of these in and you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, and with another side in, you can see these taking shape a lot better here. We went a little fancy, like I know these are people are supposed to be poor, but they're still designers at heart. They know how to design things that look nice, so they built themselves some nice tents. So you can see I started putting some texture in on the floor. We gotta get some better lights. We'll decorate in here just a little bit more, so it looks like more people lived in here, and we'll get the people in. But that is basically what we're gonna go for. So I've designed some that are going to be five, or at least planned out some that are five wide, and then some that are three wide. Wanted to have a little bit of a variance, so it wasn't just the same structure over and over again. And then I think we're going to use some that are white and some that are green. Green being the idea that they're so poor that maybe they didn't have enough wool, so they had to get, I don't know, some moss or, I don't know, green sand. We'll have to figure out what textures we use. But we got one in, so now it's time to do what? One, two, three, four more. So I'll do those and then show you what it looks like. Before getting too far into the project, I realized I need some stuff. So we're here in the shopping area where I need to pick up a few things. And if you haven't seen, I applied to work at the Log Father's pop-up shop. They're requesting someone who is looking, a talented individual to partner up with do you have what it takes to get rich? If you haven't seen, I did put in my application. I won't read it all, but you can pause it and look. But I need to work here because I spend all my money coming over. What are these? One diamond per stack? Coming over here. 
and getting all sorts of wood and logs. So I need to work here. Maybe that gets me some kind of a discount. The other thing I need is some green stuff. The green stand owned and operated by E&L. So two stacks, one diamond. We're definitely taking like four stacks here. So there's my two diamonds for the four. And these are two stacks for one diamond. Now, typically I don't use this a lot, but I like it lately because I can stack it up on top of different builds where I don't want a torch. Like if I had a roof like that, I can light it up without you really being able to see it too much, but not having to use a torch. So that's great. All right, is there anything else here before I fly all the way back out? Nope, I think that's it. So we're going to get back over and keep building. Hmm, I just got a green one in. And I don't know, like, is that too weird? Like the fact that this one is all wool and then this one's green. I don't know. I can't tell if it blends in too much. But I think we're going to keep it for a minute and see if like some decoration works. Because I think as soon as we start getting some of these other ones in, it's going to be nice to have something that kind of is a little bit different. At least that's what I'm hoping for. So let's keep it for a minute. Let's build this one out. I think we're going to do it white. So let me build that, see what it looks like, and then we'll make a judgment call. And I said I was going to get in the white ones. Well, it turns out I got in a lot of details too. I figured if we're going to judge if this green one was good or not, we need to make sure that we understand the full context. So I actually put an extra green one in here, two white ones, the pathway, some detailing, some crops. You can see they're still growing, just some random details here and really wanted to get the feel of it before we made the call. And I think that was a good idea because now we're starting to get a lot more depth with kind of the different colors. We have the different wood. I think this looks pretty good. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, we threw in a bunch of different details like strapping down these logs. And you'll notice that I have some armor stands in the statues book. If you haven't seen this before, it's pretty cool because now we can pose different people in this area exactly how we want to have them. So it tells a story. So I've got 16 of them here. I'm going to start adding people. And as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of heads ready. Yep, these people got seasick on the way over. They're all still green. And they're permanently green. But they're going to be the ones that are the people who came into this area. They're still dirt poor. That's why most of their stuff is made out of moss, wood, wool. Nothing too fancy. But we're going to get them in. Get their outfits on. And you can see... The type of people are going to be in the city. Hey, this is Cube Prospector from the future. In some of the next clips, you might hear little glimpses of, we'll call it holiday excitement in the background. Please try to ignore those because we've got something cool that we're building today. Okay, and now we've got a few of those in. You can start seeing the little stories we're going to be able to tell here, whether that's them sitting by the fire like this, Someone working inside of the smeltery. I don't know what we're calling this tent. But as you can see, we actually have two different statue mods here. One gives you the ability to customize them, put your own armor on them. Others you put the head on and it actually brings the model of the um, mob into the game. So this one we can't actually position, but you see it gives us a little movement. I've added a few of those here. But then we've also used the statue mod to give us some kids running, someone sitting on their bed, people sitting by the fire. And that's really how we're going to continue to kind of give life here. Now, some of them, like this guy, is kind of in a weird spot. So we'll change him out. But that's what we're going to do as we transition to build a bridge here. And then let me just come over here real quick. I'm going to get a bunch of more tents in here. We're going to build a path. And I might do some of those on time lapse so you can at least see the process. But we're going to build, what, two down there, two here, and another three plus a road. We got some work to do. So let's jump in.
And as you saw from that time lapse, we did two of these and I did a brand new style on this one. So a little bit different from that one, little flatter sides. Wanted to vary it up. And I also started getting, well not started, got another, what, five of these in? So I think we're at the point where we're ready to kind of get this pathway in, start decorating around in here. And this hole I've been leaving the whole time is kind of original. We've narrowed it down, I think, a little bit. But we're going to convert it into a little pond, like a spring. Have it trickle down into the water. But we're going to go ahead and get this all kind of build out. So we kind of get a same thing as what we got over there. Oh, and I still got to build this bridge. I keep forgetting about it. Well, let's at least get the road in and some of the details. And then we'll get that bridge in. Okay, and before we get this bridge in, I better show you all that we've started doing over here. So we've started decorating inside of most of these. We've got the walkway. You can see I've got a few armor stands out just thinking about what we're going to do. And the detail is finally coming in. And I think it's looking awesome. So if you look at this, this guy's got his wheelbarrow. And I even put a pumpkin in his wheelbarrow. We've got a few different things here, including, I don't know if I showed this before, but we put in a chimney for this tent. Do tents have chimneys? I don't know, but this one sure does, because this is where our smith is going to be working. Got some other tents here. And then you can see I got a few more armor stands. Start decorating these ones. And I think we're getting there. Like, I'm loving these sight lines. Obviously, we'll eventually build this out. But I love that we're getting these sight lines where you kind of get immersed in here. You walk through, you're able to come down, see that original shipwreck. And now, time to build out this bridge. So let's build it out. Okay, and we didn't go for anything too special with this bridge. Because these people are poor, we really just wanted it to look like, I don't know, they threw a bunch of wood together. Let's see if we can get some different views of it. It's nothing special. It's kind of rickety. It's not the best. But that's because these people are dirt poor. So we got a lot of details put into that bridge. And I think with that, it is time to kind of do a last pass to just kind of show you everything we built. Okay, I think the best way of doing this tour is going to be to do a flyby so we can see kind of this long stretch that we did. I didn't realize how much this was going to be when I started it. But as you see, we're really close to where the actual village and mega base is going to go. So I think this is a pretty cool view to be able to fly in, be able to see what's here, and how much we really did in this episode. So let's land, oh, face plant into there, and kind of recap the lore and why we're here. So again, this is the boat that came from the ocean. They came at night and crashed right into the sandbar. And so as they decide what they were going to do, they just started building right by the boat. It had all the resources they needed, the food. And so what we've built here is, again, kind of these different tents, the harvesting logs. They've got some crops over here. We've got, uh, uh, what is this, a blacksmith? and his shop. We've got a guy that's maybe cooking some dinner. He's got a soup in his hand. This I thought was kind of funny. I, I was hoping it would look more like a hot dog on a stick and he was roasting it, but it's a carrot on a fishing pole. <laughs> I guess that's pretty close. And then obviously we've got some more characters around here. We've got storage, people in their beds, kids playing with fireworks. I don't know if that's safe, but I thought it was kind of fun. And then a bridge. Had to get over to this other island, so we build a bridge. They build a bridge, I should say, with some more place, some more storage. We've got another tent with some crops outside. This portion, I really tried to think about what might they be putting into barrels. And then a guy, obviously, with a pumpkin in his wheelbarrow. Another little camp area. These guys aren't cooking anything yet, so maybe they'll need to. And then I love this one. I had the idea of, well, they're in tents, but let's at least give this blacksmith an area that he has a little smokestack going up. 
And then over in here, I think these ones are all just, yeah, places for people to store stuff, to sleep. And this is really kind of the edge. And what this is eventually going to do is lead us straight into really our mega base area. Haven't talked about that too much. We'll probably start doing uh, some of the, the layout in the next one. But for now, this is kind of what we've got is this nice, really cool area for where the lore of our city started and all the people who kind of founded this area. And y'all, that is going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you liked what we were able to do here. I think we accomplished a lot and there's a lot of cool people in here. I love making the builds feel like they're lived in. They don't just come in and it feels like a ghost town. I really wanted some life. And I think we achieved it. So down in the comments, let me know if you have any other detailing ideas that we could put in here. But until then, we'll talk to you soon.